Um, let's talk a little bit of New York football, man, because um, we, we, we have two pretty good New York football teams right now. I think – actually, I don't even – I can't even think about the last time both the Jets and the Giants were this good at the same time in a, in a season. It's crazy. O two O two was the last time they both – uh, that's 20 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think uh, I, I think I saw a, a stat flash across where it said 02 was the last time that they both oh uh, were three goodness. games over 500 this late in the season at the same time. Is it is it has it gotten that bad? Damn, well, for 20 I years? mean, to be fair, I know the Giants have been in a very tough, tough stretch over the last 10 years since the last time you know they, they were Super yeah. Bowl bound. But to be fair, this is more about the Jets than the Giants. We we know that. You know, for the yeah, most yeah. part, you you take away that that rough ten year stress that the that the Giants have been under. They were competitive for the early parts of the two thousands and obviously in the nineties as well. For the Absolutely. Jets, for the Jets, this is kind of the norm. You, you know, they, they go they go through these funks for long stretches and long periods of time, and then they'll have one or two really good seasons. Obviously, you know the Rex Ryan, Mark Sanchez years; those were good for them because they went to back to back mm -hmm. AFC Championship games. But other mm -hmm. than that, this is who the Jets have always been. No facts, facts, facts. Um, yeah, man. Uh, listen, I'm I'm happy. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a Giants fan. I'm not a Jets fan, but it's not like like I don't have the relationship with the Jets that I do with the Mets type of type of situation. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like ah, oh, whatever. It's just, it's just the Jets, it's the Jets, you know, whatever. But they playing really good right now, and they have a a young team, so they could really start to come into their own over the next couple of seasons if they can just continue to improve little by little each season um i mean we're looking it's looking like right now if they continue at this pace they should uh you know make the playoffs um you know obviously i think the bills win that division but you know the the, the patriots who, who who they play this week we're going to talk about that are a very beatable team the dolphins are beatable as well just because we don't know who's going to be playing what week, you know, because of, because of injuries. Um, and then, you know, everything that's going on with, with Tua right now. So, you know, I, but I just, I love it for New York football, man. I hope you guys are excited because we have, like Eric said, we haven't seen this in 20 years, both of these teams playing at this level for, for this long into the season. Um, who do you, who do you take though today in that Jets uh, Patriots game? So I, today I have the Jets. I love the Jets team. I've talked about it all offseason. This this was a team that kind of flew under the radar. Again, I didn't think they would be 5-2, and two, but I love their draft. I've loved their last couple of drafts. This year, obviously, getting Brees Hall, getting Sauce Gardner, getting Garrett Wilson to pair with what they got last year and Elijah Moore and Zach Wilson, and then Quentin Williams the year before that. I love what they're doing on both sides of the ball. They're building the right culture. I think the Jets are truly one of those young teams that are going to develop into a contender. Today, I like them over the Patriots just because I think the Patriots are making a big mistake with going with Bailey Zappi. This offense looked like trash with Mac Jones when he was prior to he got injured, when he was playing, and when he came in last week as well, they looked bad. Immediately, Bailey Zappi gave this offense a shot in the arm. They were throwing the ball down the field. They were stretching the field more. Everything looked more crisp with Bailey Zappi. And I think Bill's being a little stubborn, so that's why I think they lose today. But Tripp... To your point about the Jets making the playoffs, you know, I love to do this. We got to look at the schedule. We got to see what's coming up. For the Jets, the next month is going to tell us everything we need to know about the Jets. I'm going to give you the four games they got coming up. You let me know where you think they land because they got the Patriots today. Then next week, they got to go to Buffalo. They get a bye week. Then they got the Patriots again. And then they got the Bears at home. They got to find a way to go two and two, maybe even three and one in that stretch because three of those games are divisional games. You can't lose all three of those divisional games. That's what makes today so important. You got to win today. Then you got to find a way to be competitive with Buffalo. If they come out of that stretch two and two, and we're talking about a team that's seven and four, then it really shapes up well for them that down the stretch because after that Bears game, they still got some winnable games. They got the Lions. They got the Jaguars. They got the Seahawks on their schedule. So this is potentially a team that could get to nine or ten wins, but today is big for them. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Most of those games that you said, if the Jets play the way they're playing, those are winnable games, right? Outs outside of the outside of the two Buffalo games, I think they probably wound up losing both of those games to Buffalo because I just think there's levels. 
and Buffalo is really in that upper upper echelon. The Jets are a young, good team, but I just don't see them, you know, being able to, to go toe-to-toe with the Bills, whether it be at home or on the road. I do pick them to win. Um, I picked them already to win this game uh, versus the Patriots. Um, I think they can beat the Bears at home. I think they can go on the road and beat the Patriots a second time because I just don't like where the team is right now. That Minnesota game on the road is probably going to be the 50-50 toss-up, um, but they can beat Detroit. They can beat Jacksonville. They can beat Seattle. And, you know, by the time that Dolphins game comes back around in Miami, you know, who they completely, you know, dominated earlier, you know, this season at home. The 40. They, they dropped a 40-piece McNugget on them. Yeah, so they can probably – you know, beat them, you know, depending on if they if they're already locked in and whatnot and they don't really need that game. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think we see both the Jets and the Giants in the playoffs. And I don't know it was as did, did that year they were both good 20 years ago. Did they both make the playoffs too? Or uh, what like what what happened? Uh I I, I could double check. I, I'll try to get that answer before uh we get <laughs> off the air, but they might have been. I gotta okay. say they might have been. Cause this might this might be the year that that happens, um, you know. Because again, look, looking at both team schedule, we talked about a week ago about the Giants' schedule and their next um, upcoming four games, and we, you know, we both said they're all four winnable games. So, and I, and I kind of feel the same way with with the, with the Jets outside of the two Buffalo games, but I think they'll probably lose both. And the the Minnesota game, I'm gonna say that one is a coin toss because nothing in minnesota impresses me that much to where i'm just like no there's no way the jets can beat them oh that's yeah that's a fact minnesota could be a very winnable game as well i would love i'll say this though i would love for the jets to win today not just because we both picked them but <laughs> they get buffalo next week and we we expect buffalo to beat the brakes off green bay on monday night right absolutely absolutely so, can you imagine what metlife stadium will sound like next week if the jets are six and two and the six and one Buffalo Bills are coming in for potentially a first place game in a month of November. I don't think Jets fans have been in that position at, like we talked about in 20 years, maybe even more than that. If the Jets win today, the energy in that stadium next Sunday will be phenomenal. I would love to see it. Uh, Jets win, Buffalo win, and then set up that great matchup for next week. Now, I'm going to ask you this because, you know, make sure, make sure you guys are tuned in on Friday nights when we do our Friday night lives and we uh, we pick our 401k picks and our upset picks. Mm-hmm. Would you pick the Jets for the upset next week? If they if they win to, today, going into next week's game, would you pick the, the Jets as your upset pick of the week? Uh, right now, no. <laughs> Something drastically would have to change. And I'm going I'm to tell you why because, like I said, when, when you look at rankings of teams, Buffalo is number one offensively and defensively. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the reasons we all like them to win them all is, like we said, even if they struggle offensively against Green Bay, their defense is probably going to still be very good and limit anything Green Bay does. But right now, bro, <laughs> even without today's games being played, have you looked at what the line is for next week? Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't seen it. In New York next week, even without this week's games being played, Buffalo is already favored by 10 and a half points. Jeez, whew. Yeah, that should let you know everything you need. Vegas knows how good Buffalo is, like, yes. <laughs> and that is very disrespectful to t- to say Buffalo is ten points better than the Jets when right now the Jets are five and two, Buffalo's five and one, and we're potentially looking at a first place matchup. But that's how confident Vegas is in Buffalo as well. Now, do you think those odds change change if the Jets uh, win this game? Does, does yeah. that come down? Yeah, I, I think ten and a half is is very disrespectful. When you consider it's a divisional opponent, because these are when you see most of the upsets. When, it, yes. when a divisional opponent goes up against each other because you're so familiar with playing each other twice a year, that line is probably going to come down to like seven and a half. It'll probably come down by like three points. Um, That's not once it becomes official. Yeah, because that line won't really be official until Tuesday after all the games are played. So that line will come down. But again, it still speaks to how good Buffalo is that Vegas is already projecting potentially a 10 point line when we don't even know the results from this week. Yeah, facts, facts. No, listen, I, I I think it does go down a little bit if the Jets win, but I'm still picking them. And listen, Jets fans, I've been supporting y'all this, this season. I've been 
complimenting y'all and giving y'all 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 flowers. Eric, you even know would you call it the Bing Bong pick? I took the Bing it's Bong the pick. Bing Bong party. twice the season. Yeah, the Bing Bong party twice, twice the, the season. season. And and because you know? well, let's talk about the Giants before we get into this. Let's talk about the Giants because you guys okay. have a really good game. Um, one of the better games of the day in Seattle today. The Giants are getting three points. Seahawks a little banged up at receiver. Obviously, DK won't be there. Um, Tyler Lock is dealing with a, with a hamstring injury. But this has been two of the most surprising teams in the NFC. Trip, I want to get your thoughts on it. I know who you're picking to win, but I want to get your thoughts on it. Will Gordon, what's good, bro? We see you in the chat. What up? What up? What up? Well, we got we got we got to get you get you in the in the mix, man. <laughs> we need you outside with us, man. Um, yeah, man, the Giants. Oh my goodness. I mean, you know, you know, I already picked the Giants, so it is you know that's that 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 goes without say. Um, and we spoke a little about about this on 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 uh, Friday. The loss of DK Metcalf, I think it's I think it's gonna you know at least this week until the team can kind of get um, you know acclimated to to him not being there. I think the Seahawks offense does struggle a little bit this week, um, and with how good the Giants defense has been playing as as of late, uh, you know, I think I think the Giants Giants get this get this win. I think it's gonna be be a low scoring game though, um, but I do think the Giants ultimately get the win. I love the giant team. Brian Dabo is the coach of the year. Um, that that to me, nothing's going to change that because they've already exceeded their win total from last year. So he's the, the coach of the year. This game though, to me is just one of those really tough, tough uh, situations in the schedule because they played in London a few weeks ago. Then they had to come back home. They didn't get a bye week. Then they went to Jacksonville and now they got to go to Seattle and all three of those games, they had to come back. They had to come from behind to win. Green Bay down 10 points, Baltimore down 10 points. Last week, they were down four points. I think the travel gets to them a little bit. Seattle has been a tough place for them to play. I also think this could be the revenge game for Geno Smith. And again, I think the Giants are the better team and the Giants have greater potential as the season goes on. I just think this is a very tough spot in the schedule for them with all the travel they've had to do over the last month. I got the Seahawks winning this game. I don't think the Seahawks cover though. I can honestly see this being a 23-21 victory by Seattle where maybe a last second field goal wins it for them. Mm. All right, well, listen. We are going we going to wait and see. We got the 4 o'clock game uh today 425 to be exact. Um but uh yeah, man, we we look I told you we need we needed all four of these. These uh and we got we yeah. got we got the one last week. We got we started off on a good note. Uh a good win for us at Jacksonville. You know, so I I still I still like I like our chances. I I think um I think the Giants hold on, man. Um, but yeah, man, let's uh we'll Focus. This is your African King of Come, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends, real talk. Get real with it, my son. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. 